Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again and I'm back with another interesting topic in Vedic Astrology today. And today we are going to be talking why many of times the predictions are going wrong uh, by astrologers. Why are they making wrong predictions and especially in terms of timing of events okay so uh, that's what we are going to be discussing and uh, this discussion actually starts from the dasha system you know we all know what a dasha system is and uh, many astrologers or most of the astrologers today are following the most popular dasha system which is the Vimshotri Dasha system, okay, and I'm not gonna get into what Vimshotri Dasha is, how it's calculated, because we've discussed that in our earlier videos. So we'll not get into the details of calculating and what it is. It's a Vimshotri Dasha system, you know, it's a Nakshatra based Dasha system, and uh, the periods are operating in the same order as the Lord of the Nakshatra. So you know, refer to my earlier videos, uh, especially people who are new to Vedic astrology so that's the most popular and famous Dasha system but the ancient sages have given us several several other Dasha system and that's probably one of the reasons why the predictions of astrologers are going wrong because they're just following one Dasha system but the ancient scriptures say well actually Parashara sage Parashara gave us at least 42 different Dasha systems and Vimshotri of course is out of out of those 42 43 whatever he has given us based on whatever knowledge or information we have from the ancient scriptures especially what has come from the scriptures given to us by ancient sages like Brigu and Sage Parashara and like I said Sage Parashara has given at least 42 which we are aware of in today's day and age because that was written thousands of this information was given to us thousands and thousands of years ago so uh, so the most popular out of the 42 given to us by Sage Parashara is the Vimshotri Dasha system and uh, also sometimes a lot of astrologers follow Ashtotri but they do not know much about the other Dasha systems and today we are going to be talking about other Dasha systems because these are conditional Dashas and these are applicable when there are certain conditions in the birth chart which are met okay so blindly we should not be following the Vimshotri Dasha system that's what my point is and today we'll discuss as to what are the other Dasha systems and when should we follow the other Dasha systems because especially the timing the Dashas change completely if there are certain conditions in the birth chart and uh, you apply different Dasha systems then the timings the periods operating of you know the planets change completely so obviously you know the timing of events is also going to change and then all the predictions will go off so blindly we should not be following the Vimshotri or sometimes the Ashtotri Dasha system so uh, well we just discussed that Parashara Sage Parashara came up with at least 42 Dasha systems which are known to us and the most popular is the Vimshotri out of them and uh, and also Ashtotri and Ashtotri by the way well Vimshotri uh, is based on the cycle of 120 years because each planet has been allocated different number of years like Saturn has been allocated 19 years Venus has been allocated 20 years you know and uh, so on and so forth Ketu has been allocated seven years Rahu 18 years so and that all these Dashas add up to 120 years and that's what is you know uh, the Vimshotri Dasha system as far as timing goes okay uh, Ashtotri Dasha system is a slightly different Dasha system where the entire number of years of all the nine planets is uh, taken as 108 as compared to Vimshotri 
which is taken or based for 120 years okay and ashtotri is generally followed by you know some advanced astrologer they do not use vimshotri blindly but some advanced or you know very very qualified vedic astrologers have used the ashtotri dasha system very effectively uh, in predicting longevity okay uh, so Vimshotri has been generally followed for all the events related to all the uh, you know events and the entire life and which could include everything you know related to his life be it longevity or be it wealth or be it general prosperity everything Vimshotri very general kind of a prediction and like I said, some advanced astrologers have taken Ashtotri because it's for longevity and uh, the basis of Ashtotri is not 120 years, the entire Ashtotri Dasha system is for 108 years. So they've taken that for finding out longevity very accurately. Then of course the other conditional Dashas are which we should be aware of and we should apply when these certain conditions are met is one of them is Kala Chakra Dasha system okay and the condition here is for the Kala Chakra Dasha system is moon is either aspected or conjoined by the Nakshatra Lord okay so see where the moon is placed okay see what the nakshatra lord of that nakshatra is where moon is placed and see whether that nakshatra lord is together with moon which means it's conjunct or it is aspecting moon or either moon is aspecting um, that uh, particular planet and that's when that's when uh, we apply the kala chakra there's a relationship between moon where the nakshatra is placed with the nakshatra lord then we apply kala chakra okay yogini is another yogini dasha system is another dasha system i've actually made videos on ashtotri and yogini if you want to know more in detail about ashtotri dasha system and yogini dasha system in detail please refer to my earlier videos but once again i'll you know tell you that yogini is to be followed in Kali Yuga and that's as per the ancient scriptures as per what Lord Shiva had told Lady Parvati that Yogini is actually most most appropriate to use in Kali Yuga the day and age we are living in okay and once again a lot of astrologers don't even know about it they don't use it but there are some advanced astrologers some very senior astrologers who've done a lot of research on this yogini and they've been making predictions very accurately based on yogini so know about these dashas test on uh, dasha systems test it on charts it's a lot of work i know you know it's very easy to just take vimshotri and then do a basic calculation and become astrologers and the the person who comes with this chart for you to study he won't even know about it and then all all of a sudden you'll realize that my predictions are going wrong and one of the reasons i mean there are several reasons why predictions could go wrong is but this is one of the reasons that we may not be following the right dasha system have we taken yogini dasha system into consideration which is most applicable as per the words of lord shiva as given in the ancient scriptures in kali yuga the day and age we are living so just don't base your uh, base your uh, predictions on just one standard vimshotri dasha system look at the other dasha systems as well okay just like yogini is applicable in kali yoga and what does yogini say that look vimsh and what does lord shiva say actually what these what does uh, lord shiva say he says is most applicable in 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 the in kali yoga also it has been mentioned mentioned in the ancient scriptures that use vimshotri dasha if the birth is during night time and in shukla paksha okay when the moon is waxing and the birth is at night time definitely use vimshotri so do a mix of several dasha systems and then your predictions will come somewhere close to perfection 
I will still say astrology is not 100% accurate because only God knows, only God knows what is the accurate time, date and place. But, you know, we've reached some kind of a, a, some kind of a, a, a closeness to or perfection rather that's the better word as far as our predictions go so use several dasha systems and like i said you know as what has been described in the ancient scriptures is use vimshottri if the birth is at night time in shukla paksha which is the waxing phase use a stotri dasha system when the birth is during the daytime and it's Krishna Paksha which means the waning phase of the moon and rest for the rest which is neither nighttime in Shukla Paksha or neither daytime in Krishna Paksha for the rest use Yogini okay that's also been described in the ancient scriptures but just don't follow the ancient scriptures blindly as well test 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 it's a lot of hard work Vedic astrology is not as simple it's an ocean and you have to do a lot of hard work keep practicing keep testing on various charts then you'll come close to perfection okay even the greatest astrologers in today's day and age you know who are considered the world's best their predictions go off and I can give you examples but I don't want to name those astrologers and and kind of quote them but you know this is one one reason one one of one of the reasons why predictions may go wrong which is the dasha system which we are discussing today then there's another dasha system which is dui sapti du, dui saptati sorry about the pronunciation dui saptati that's a sanskrit word for that dasha system and it's also conditional and the condition is that the lagna lord should be in the seventh or the seventh lord should be in the lagna or the ascendant okay so see if in a birth chart you're doing an analysis of course vimshotri should be taken into consideration but at the same time use dvisaptati when the lord of the ascendant is sitting in the seventh or the lord of the seventh house is sitting in the lagna then use this other dasha system then you're gonna ask me well how do we know how do we calculate this dasha and i'm not gonna get go into details how to calculate it but there are software softwares available which will give you these dasha systems pretty easily but like i said do not do not ignore the importance of vimshotri dasha as, dasha as well and try to combine those and come to some kind of a conclusive uh, analysis on that then there's another dasha system which is shat trimansa dasha system okay and the condition to follow the shat trimansa dasha system is well <clears throat> if the birth is in daytime in the sun's hora the planet sun's hora if a person is born in the hora of sun in daytime use shat trimansa dasha or if a person is born in the night time in the hora of moon then use shat trimam sadasha okay that's another dasha system another dasha system is dwadaso dwadaso tari dasha dwadaso tari dasha okay if the lagna degree falls in the amsha of venus okay if the lord if the lagna itself or the ascendant itself falls in the amsa of venus okay so if it's false and the best way of looking at it if it falls in the navamsha of venus okay they have just said any kind of an amsa it could be you know even a shashti amsa the amsa which is 60th part of 30 degrees but you know generally look at the Navamsha you know that is also an Ansha that is you know nine parts of 30 degrees so if the Lagna falls in the Amsha and use Navamsha very conveniently you can use it uh, because Shashti Amsha or D60 can be off by a few minutes so this is more reliable to use Navamsha if the Navamsha or if the lagna or the ascendant falls in the navamsha of venus meaning which in a zodiac sign which is loaded by the planet venus then use dwadasotari dasha okay that's been given in the ancient scriptures as well 
Then there's another Dasa system which is the Chaturasiti Dasha system. And that happens very simple. Look at the tenth lord if it is placed in the tenth house. Then use Chaturasiti Dasha. Okay. Tenth lord and the tenth house. Use that Dasha. But then of course I'll recommend based on my experiences also look at the Vimshotri as well. Alright. Uh, another Dasa system is in case the Lagna or the Ascendant is Vargottam, and we know we what Vargottama is, the Ascendant Vargottama meaning which, and generally, you know, the, the Varga chart which we use when we consider Vargottama is the Navamsha chart. So look at if the Ascendant in the Rashi chart and the Ascendant in the Navamsha is the same, then it becomes a Lagna Vargottama or the Ascendant becomes Vargottama, <clears throat> then use this dasha system called satapdika dasha system and like i said how do you find this dasha system and the timings and the dashas there are softwares available several softwares i'm not gonna mention one software over the other which one is better but you know you can find it through the software pretty simple but it's very simple lagna if in case lagna is vergottama don't base your analysis just on vimshottri or ashtottri or yogini you may have to use you know different dasha system then do some work <laughs> don't let your uh, well for professional astrologers don't let your clients down by making predictions uh, without doing a good amount of homeworks so that your predictions can be close to perfection okay then there's another dasha system which is called shodasi shodasotari i'm sorry about my pronunciation again these are sanskrit words shodasotari dasha system okay and this is a conditional dasha once again where the lagna or the ascendant falls in the hora of moon okay in krishna paksha which is the waning phase or the lagna <coughs> falls in the hora of sun in shukla paksha which is the waxing phase of the moon okay once again shoda so dasha is to be applied when the ascendant falls in the hora of moon in krishna paksha or the waning phase or if the ascendant falls in the hora of sun in shukla paksha which is the waxing phase then use this dasha along with the other dasha vimshottri ashtottri yogini all that so in other words i'm saying that use three four dasha systems and just don't you know use one dasha system when you're analyzing a birth chart then there's another uh, dasha system called the panchottari dasha system when the lagna is in the rashi of cancer or for cancer ascendant people in other words okay and also in dwada samsa so if the lagna degree falls in dwada samsa d12 so look at the d12 chart if it's also cancer lagna along with the cancer lagna in the rashi or the main chart lagna chart then panchottari dasha has to be followed okay so i can keep going on and on one of the dasha system is you know shastihayani dasha system and shastihayani dasha system has to be followed when the planet sun is in lagna so it's very simple look at the birth chart if the planet sun is sitting in the ascendant very conveniently follow the vimshottri ashtottri or yogini whatever you want to and based on the conditions there and then also look at the shasti hayani dasha okay when sun is in the lagna or the ascendant so like i said you know this discussion can go on and on but look at conditional dashas definitely that was the purpose of this video and try to make uh, you aware of different dasha systems out of the 42 it's not easy to you know research and talk about all 42 but these are some main dasha conditional dasha systems which you should take into consideration while analyzing a chart so hopefully you did enjoy this video 
on uh, the various types of dasha systems and what kind of conditions they come with and you know what kind of dasha systems you should be following or a mix of dasha systems because these conditions could be several conditions may be met so you have to then keep looking at those conditions and the meanwhile subscribe to my channel check out my website and i will see you with an interesting topic in vedic astrology in my next session very soon goodbye